Hello, and welcome to this presentation on managing agricultural risks. This is part of UVM Extension New Farmer Project, Building Your Networks video series, developed in collaboration with the UVM Ag Risk Management and Crop Insurance Education Program. These videos are designed to introduce you to resources that can help you launch and grow successful farm businesses. This educational video series is made possible by funding from the Northeast Extension Risk Management Education Center. I'm Jake Jacobs, and I coordinate the UVM Agricultural Risk Management and Crop Insurance Education Program. This program provides farmers with educational resources and connections to advisors and organizations to support their farm enterprises. I'm Josh Taylor, and I work with Jake on agricultural risk management outreach and facilitating farm management teams. I'm doing research on small farm sustainability, focusing on supporting farmer well being. All businesses have to plan for unexpected events that can derail their enterprises, and farm businesses are no different. However, there are some unique challenges that face farmers. This video will provide an overview of the types of risks you may encounter and suggest mitigating efforts that you can include in your business plan. Of all the risks that can jeopardize any farming operation, natural events pose the greatest threat to a farm's production yield. Production risk can be anything that impacts the quantity or quality of your product. A single severe weather event can devastate a crop and farmers are experiencing increased frequency of extreme weather events. Problems such as diseases, insects, and wildlife damage can dramatically reduce the yield or quality of a crop. As a new farmer, do you have crop insurance, disaster coverage, or some other backup plan in case something happens that decreases your yield or decreases the quality of your crop? Sometimes events beyond your control may impact the market for what you produce. And even a small unexpected disruption can seriously affect farm income. Examples of market risks include a lack of access to markets, a drop in prices, competition, and loss or change of markets. For example, when coronavirus restrictions caused restaurants to abruptly close, many Vermont farmers experienced an immediate unexpected halt of that market channel. Even short-term interruptions, such as weather closures, can impact projected income. And there is limited shelf life for farm fresh commodities. Financing a farm business takes careful planning and management. Some examples of financial risk include debt load, insufficient liquidity or working capital, low profits, tax liabilities, and loan structures. There are a host of legal obligations that farmers have to contend with. Some legal risks include farm transfer arrangements, trespassing laws, liability from farming practices, and a variety of regulations that determine many of your practices. Examples of legal arrangements you may have to navigate include local zoning ordinances to establish direct sales on your premises, establishing rental or lease agreements for your farm, or forming contracts with vendors and customers. While we often think of farm safety as the main human risk on a farm, some other examples include clear definitions of responsibilities for all functions on the farm and clear communication about standard operating procedures. If your farm business relies on employees, additional risks are associated with hiring and managing employees or possibly a lack of employees. If you or someone else with primary functions on the farm gets hurt, who will do the work? And we cannot ignore the potential for stress and depression among farmers that can impact the farmer's ability to work. Nowadays, it is likely that you depend on many electronic systems. Some of the risks you must manage include security of systems that you use to receive payments by credit cards, accepting SNAP cards, hacking, and making sure your website is in compliance with any regulations. Most farm products enter the larger food system, whether you're selling from a roadside farm stand or shipping to wholesale customers. Some of the risks you must consider are changing some farm commodity with processing that changes the commodity or product, ensuring quality of commodities or other items purchased from other producers, 
compliance with FISMA regulations, and providing sufficient safety training for employees. General risks include some factors that don't necessarily fit into other areas of risk that you work to prepare for. One example is the desire to have savings for retirement income for you, and in some cases, to support family members who must rely on farm income for their living expenses in retirement. On the other end of the spectrum, are you planning for your children's educational needs? Other examples include technology, and in many cases, the risk is a lack of technology on the farm. Is your farm business plan up to date? As your enterprise develops, this may require ongoing revisions. In many new farm businesses, the principal operator knows the details of the business, both overall planning and day-to-day -day operations. But is there someone else who knows where all your important documents are kept and can keep the business going if the principal operator is unavailable for a short or long-term period? Many risks are interrelated, and sometimes a practice that you can implement can address several risks at once. For example, a written multi-year lease agreement that links rental rates to net farm revenue may simultaneously provide secure access to land, protect the farm from unanticipated rent increases, and help keep farm expenses in line with revenues. Another example might be implementing standard operating procedures that conform with food safety rules which will also help the farm have clear expectations for employees to ensure that the farm will bring a consistent quality product to market. So how can you manage all these potential risks? Where can you find assistance and support? It is important to know that you don't have to navigate alone. If you are viewing this video, you have already found one of the best resources for farmers, complete with technical advisors, consultants, and information that can help you address any or all of the risks presented in this program, the University of Vermont Cooperative Extension Service. UVM Extension faculty and staff are located in offices around the state and their agricultural outreach education programs provide information to producers on all types of agricultural operations. We are also very fortunate in the state of Vermont to have a vibrant and active network of agricultural agencies and organizations that exist to support the farming community. Here are logos from just some of the ag organizations that support Vermont producers. You can check with the UVM Agricultural Risk Management Education Program and UVM Extension with inquiries for assistance and referrals. It's crucial to understand the risks that can impact your farm business so you can include strategies in your business plan that will mitigate unforeseen events. Armed with the plan, new and early stage farmers can build resilient businesses and manage a variety of agricultural risks. You can find more information about risk management and links to federal, state, and university programs at the UVM Agricultural Risk Management and Crop Insurance Education website. The address is shown on the screen now. Additional videos in this series will present information on USDA programs that may be of particular interest for beginning and early stage farmers. Thanks so much for watching.